Good morning, my sunrise friends. Welcome to day 24. We are one week away from completing 30 days. Congratulations. The sky is already lighter before we even start. So thank you for helping me ease into a new year this way. Take a moment to ground yourself, maybe even reaching down and moving flesh, pressing down on your legs, planting yourself here on your chair or your cushion. Find that tall spine, that seat of dignity, heart open forward, chin slightly tucked. And then find your breath or meet your breath, greet your breath. Maybe even say good morning to your breath. Strange because it's been happening your whole life. And there are only moments where you are aware of breath and connected with breath, which is yoga, bringing the mind and the body together through watching the breath. Today, I'd like to bring our attention to the heart And our greatest teacher, the divine wisdom within each of us. As you inhale, feel your lungs expanding, pressing out into the rib cage. And as those lungs expand, they squeeze your heart a little bit. Each breath in is a little hug for your heart. As you exhale, the lungs deflate, air goes out, and the heart has more space to expand into. Visualize this dance. Inhale, squeeze your heart with your lungs. Exhale, create a little more space for your heart to move in, to beat in. And again and again, let's just hold on to this image of this heart beating, these lungs squeezing and life happening. For just a moment, bring your hands over the space of your heart and feel this action happening. In Sanskrit, there's a chant that honors this wise teacher within. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. I honor the divine teacher within me. The wisdom, the truth, and the knowing that has always been here.
You can keep your hands here or softly release them to your lap, continuing to breathe and squeeze and release this space. I don't know where this soul was before it inhabited this human being named Denise, but I believe it existed somewhere as wisdom, as truth, as light, consciousness. And when it got dumped into this body, it forgot and it became human. I believe this for all of us and because human beings have a memory problem, we are sent teachers. In this moment, I'd like you to bring to mind someone who has been a teacher for you, who has pointed you back to your own wisdom and truth. Imagine that person sitting right behind you. Maybe their hands are on your shoulders. Bring to mind another teacher. This could have been a good friend, an author, a pet, a loved one. All teachers, imagine them all taking their place behind you. the struggles and hardships of your life, teachers, the victories and celebrations, teachers. Imagine this long line of wisdom behind you. That brought you here. And imagine all of that wisdom and truth just filling your being. It is already here. Can you picture what that might look like? Your inner guide, your compass, your teacher. Wahe Guru, the most wise teacher lives within each of us. Listen for a moment to your inner teacher, your guide, your compass.
Yael Betim said, even here in the silence of this room, I am not alone. This silence is alive with the unfolding of other lives and with the turning and movement of the earth. I begin to sense my connection to the world's pain and my part in healing it. I realize that my transformation of pain into love is an act of service for humankind. By embracing my existence, I can bring courage to others to face their own pain and to acknowledge what it has to teach them. my friends, I invite you to imagine someone sitting now in front of you, someone for whom you are a teacher. Teachers come in a lot of different ways. I love the quote, teach always sometimes even with words. Who's watching you and learning from you today? Who can you pass on this wisdom just through an act of kindness or compassion or truth telling? Let's bring our hands together in a gesture of gratitude for all of our teachers and those ahead of us who will benefit from what we have been given. My friends who are joining me this morning live, you are my teachers. Morgan, you teach me the value of showing up consistently. Dorothy, you've taught me the value of showing up with a random and sweet gift, unexpected and beautiful. Gigi, you teach me to be playful and creative and colorful. And Becky, you teach me to check on people Make sure that those around you know you care. I bow in deep gratitude for all of my teachers. May we pass it on. Namaste. Namaste.